Oh boy, am I gonna enjoy this. I mean, do you blame me? These are some of the best figures Mega has ever had to offer. And it's so great, honestly, that they celebrated the 10 year anniversary of having the IP. I know it's like a very common practice for, you know, it's it's an easy marketable sell doing anniversary editions of pretty much anything. Disney definitely knows that, but this is still so dope. And the packaging, the way they're all exploding out. It was a Halo Wars Spartan that we first got, the first green Spartan, but solidifying the CE Chief just seems right. It just seems like the right thing to do in solid gold. Giving them all gold weapons. And in this series, all of the weapons were gold throughout all the products. So you could collect a full definitive 10 year anniversary series. And it just that's just amazing. If someone can please sell me an aerial ambush one day, please, I'm begging you. It just screams everything that is so beautiful about Halo Mega. And I am gonna have a video uh, in the future where I go through the full 10 year anniversary lineup. One of the things I learned when I visited Mega was their retention for staff is just amazing. There's so many people that have been working there for like 20, 30 years. Most of the people I bet that worked on this blind bag had been at the you know, at the studio for like 10 years. So it's their blind bag series and they'll have handpicked these based on figures that they really loved from the past. For example, the Black Recon being such an iconic figure that came in old articulation back in the original L. So I am opening these randomly. I came across a big lot of 10 year anniversary blind bags. I don't really know what's inside these. Maybe I have a bit of an idea, but not really. This is gonna be totally blind. And we're also gonna enjoy opening these a lot more because they are um, unbuilt. So we're gonna actually be able to build them and discuss them like the old days. And yes, I know a lot of people will have thought, what are you doing? Cutting straight through the logo. A lot of these are from my friend. He actually purchased a load of them. He doesn't need the bag, so I may as well just cut and be done with it. So our first character, three, two, one. Flame Marine. And of course, this was an iconic one for Mega to bring back for the 10 year anniversary. The Flame Marine was one of the first figures they ever worked on. Pretty much when the line first launched, it was just a Spartan, Flame Marine, Marine, and then a Grunt and an Elite. So it makes sense. It's the iconic thing to bring back. We got the rarities here, pretty spot on. I would definitely have these as the ultra rares. It's actually really rare that I'm totally on board with a rarity list. And we're opening eight of them today. So we really got to get a move on. This is going to take a while, but I'm going to have this as a largely unedited just a uh, discussion video talking about what's been going on on my channel, upcoming projects I have, a lot of my plans for the year. So if you're interested in the channel, definitely stick around because I'm gonna go through like all of the big things that I'm gonna be working on this year, which, oh boy, this is one of my favorite <laughs> years. Like I got, I got some really exciting things uh, coming up. And really, I've been reflecting on this a lot recently, the transformation that my channel has gone under. The last seven weeks, maybe eight weeks, has just been absolutely remarkable. I made a video seven and a half weeks ago ish saying that I was ready to quit YouTube. There was a massive rally cry for me to not do that. And since then it has just been up and up. I just released a video mega constructs versus mega blocks. I'm actually recording this straight after like the day after. And um, oh man, it's trending so well. I think it's even going to overtake the announcement video for the 20th character pack for the Halo 2 character pack, which is absolutely wild, really. I really don't remember a time where that's ever happened where just a main state video is overtaking like a toy announcement. That's really awesome. It just shows that you guys have fully rallied behind me and the quality of my videos has massively increased with my motivation because go figure, motivation is actually the best way to achieve quality. Who would have ever been able to uh, figure that one out? Eh? There's our Flame Marine. Uh, for a long time, I had the um, 10th anniversary figures in a lineup on my desk. I try and limit what I have on display because I don't want to clutter my desk. I need it to also be a work environment and also a bedroom. But I, I always had these on display because they're just so iconic. They're so epic. Right now, they're in the attic because, uh, you know, I've been redecorating. I've got a lot of different things. I, I, I have collectibles coming in the house every day. First figure, we got a rare. Not bad, not bad. As a, as a first figure, I'm happy with that. So, next blind bag, let's choose this one. I'm gonna probably keep the packaging intact for some of them. For the first like five or six, we're just gonna blast these open. Three, two, one, it's... The Anniversary Elite. Now, for a while, this was my absolute favorite figure. Like for, for probably about a year, I love me some metallic green. And I know it's not for everyone because it's not really as realistic. You gotta love it for what it is. It's metallic green. It looks 
absolutely gorgeous. And I love, love, love this. Uh, like you, you very rarely get these metallic colors on Banished or Covenant. It's almost always on the UNSC. So I thought it was a really dope, a sort of change of pace, it freshened it up. This figure just felt really, really good. And I, I gotta tell you, like I was making YouTube videos for a long time. Um, I've been making them for 12 years now. When I moved to China straight after graduating, I moved to a place called Guilin in China. So I tried to keep up with YouTube as best I could, but it was difficult. We went to America for Thanksgiving in 2000 and 19. I had been out of the Halo Mega scene for quite a long time, a couple of years. I did a couple of bits off Chinese websites, but I was mostly out of the game, didn't know what was available. And I went into Target and they had the 20th uh, or the 10th anniversary blind bags and Halo Heroes. I was straight back in there, I was hooked. And this was the first, I think it was the first blind bag that I opened. Even if it wasn't the first, it was the one that had the impact. I was just sat there looking at it in the car like, this is absolutely incredible. That and the Overshield Master Chief from Halo Heroes, I just couldn't believe how dope they were. That was me sort of straight back into the brand. And from that point onwards in 2020, I relaunched the channel and the rest is history. I think honestly, this series uh, will continue to increase in value. I think if you buy them now, it'll be the cheapest you'll ever buy them. That's not financial advice, but uh, I do think that they have a, a bright future in sort of resale. Anything that is a anniversary mint, a celebration, a proper collection, they all always have good resale value. One thing I've noticed, Halo Wars 2 sets, oh my goodness, they are going up and up in value. Three, two, one. Another Elite, that's actually hilarious. Oh man, we got a second Elite, all right. I mean, I'll take I definitely, it. Definitely, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I sold a few to my friend. I didn't sell him two Elites, so uh, I'm gonna be keeping one of these Elites, baby. The three figures that I have on display at the minute are the Flood Elite, because it's just so dang iconic. A Steel Spartan that I got in on Vinted on a website for three pounds, so five US dollars for the Spartan. Like, there's only 9,900 of these in the world. And then the unreleased Zayata, whatever it is, Spartan that we don't know when or if it's coming. It was in a random eBay listing and demarcation media scored it for me. So thank you very much. Sue. I need money, baby. That's what makes the world go round. Thankfully, like at the minute, my resell, like I have a, a small little resell business for, for Halo Mega and it's keeping me ticking. Um, I need more income streams desperately, but uh, for now it's nice that like everything can be self-contained and Halo Mega can financially help me. The torsos are quite easy to pop in half the time, but not with the elites. <laughs> and you can't really press them against tables. Uh, so we're gonna leave the torsos a little bit loosey-goosey. Day 1000 of petitioning to Mega for just Create an elite with, with no hole in the head, please. Just one. Also, you can say what you want about these gold effects. Sometimes they come off more yellowy than anything else, but they're all right. There is our second elite. Let's see what blind bag number four has to offer. I, I have a good feeling about this one. I have a good feeling. It's... The Helio Skrill. I'll take it. You know, there are some Helio Skrill stands out there. There's some big fans of this Helio Skrill. I was... um. Never as much of a fan. I mean, I was never really that much of a fan of uh, armors in Halo 5 anyway. My brain kind of just switched off because there were just too many. You are kind of getting that way with Halo Infinite right now. The channel is just doing really well. Relying pretty much not at all on shorts. I tried it and it just like consumed my soul for a second there. I just felt like all of my like, my content creation was just worthless, just soulless. Do not recommend going all in on short form content. It's fun and, and it can be fun and you can learn a lot. The general gist of it, I don't wanna be making short form content for you guys. Advisor's is not incredible on this one. It's not actually that good, but uh, in general, good figure. Uh, another example of just like, when you have no wash whatsoever, it's just, uh, I don't know, kind of just seems a little bland. As I explained in this video that I released yesterday, the marbling effect on these does give it an extra level, level of depth, but it still needs a wash. These things need washes. We just blasted through half of them and we got half of them left. And um, what am I hoping for? I would love to have another black recon. I'd add that to my collection on my desk. But really any of them are good. Always just seemed funny to me giving Kat uh, a shotgun, a gold shotgun. Like just give her an AC shotgun, it's fine. But whatever, let's see. Number five, three, two, one. I did have a feeling this Spartan was gonna be in there somewhere. Yeah, in terms of plans for the rest of the year, I got a really exciting trip to Seattle, Washington for the Halo World Championship Series. I recommend anyone always just like 
get to that event, just just interacting with Halo fans and being part of that community and seeing that 343 are just regular people that really love Halo, it does a lot for the fandom, like it really does escalate uh, your appreciation for for being a Halo fan, for being in part of the fandom. Okay, better, better visor there. I, w this must have been like, the Spartan must have appeared in like one or two, maybe three sets. Another fatality is the lack of uh, metallic on the forearms. I don't know why it is. Maybe it's the ball joint where the uh, the hands clip into, but um, it's just not the same color. The camera can't pick it up as well, but Simon knows that's not the same color forearms. That's another common. Let's, uh, let's see what blind bag number six is cooking up. It's gonna be a good one, let me tell you. No, I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. This one's gonna this one's gonna deliver something really special. Don't try this at home, kids. It's hard to like cut and know that you're not cutting into the front of the blind bag, but there we go. Blind bag number six, three, two, one. It's the Halo Wars Spartan. You've got to have a nod back to the original Halo War Spartans if you're doing a 10th anniversary blind bag from Mega. It just has to happen. And the, this is a good example of the speckling effect. Like the speckling effect is a good way to add sort of randomized dirt and grime, probably for a cheap price. This is cool. I like the speckling. I like the marbling on the elite. But then this just looks so bland and sort of like nothingness. And you can see that reflected in the sort of resale value for those kind of era Spartans, very low. They do not sell for much. And that can be a lot of different reasons, but I think a lot of it is due to just the lack of detail on the armor. I think it, it just, it, it drives the sale. It drives the price point down. Once I've done with the Halo World Championship, I'm gonna be going to a couple of my favorite cities in the USA and hopefully paying a visit to Mega Chief Constructs Creator. If you're not subscribed to Mega Chief Constructs Creator, what are you doing? You're wasting your time, go look. He makes insane custom builds of like massive scar Arabs and frost ravens and arctic mammoths or whatever he's been cooking up. It does insane custom builds. So hopefully I can go down to New York and check out his collection, film some really insane videos for you guys. That is a rare. So we're good. We've got three rares and three commons. I think in terms of look, that's pretty good. I think I saw a little bit peeking out there. Is this my favorite little grunty boy? Three, two, one. Get on out there. Go on, get out, get out. It's the blue grunt. I do love this little guy. I'm a grunt shipper. I absolutely adore my grunts. They're my, just my favorite characters in Halo. Everyone says who would win in a battle between Master Chief and Spartan Jerome. I don't care. It's a grunt every time. The grunt will always win. The grunt, always wins because the Grunt has numbers. Watch the Grunt Rebellion. Well, the Grunt Rebellion didn't actually succeed. They had their planet glassed, but hey, I mean, they probably succeeded for a while, right? A little bit of a sensitive topic mentioning the Grunt Rebellion right in front of this poor little ungle. Look at that face. I remember the first time I got one of these new articulation Grunts in a blind bag. It took me forever to figure out how to get it together. Um, and, you know, Mega have completely remo removed like the ability to build the figures out of the packs. Now they just come complete and that's a shame. Also, I noticed recently a lot of people out there are purchasing these grunts literally just for the face mask. All right, that's one more common. I have a feeling this might be the brute. I, I have a feeling this might be the last common. If it's not the brute, I'm gonna give every one of the people that watch this video a dollar. How about that? Three, two, one. Oh my God, he rigged the system this whole time. It was the domain all along, guys. I knew it. That's what I like to see from a brute face. None of this Craig the Brute look. I, I was a big Craig the Brute fan, but we don't need a Craig the Brute uh, face anymore. Like, we've moved past it. Let's have realistic brute faces that actually look menacing. This is the Purple Brute, another like absolute favorite. I think I'll probably just keep this on my desk as well. I can't remember if my friend actually purchased this one or not. I absolutely love this brute. This kind of brute in general, like the Covenant Lance set is just an absolute dream come true for any Halo 3 fan. It is a gorgeous set and these are gorgeous brutes. And this purple is probably my favorite, the Brute Captain. I think I've built these blind bags quite fast. I don't know if um, they're on par. I'm going to Philadelphia first and then um, I'm picking up a listing that I purchased on eBay, which is a 
very poor financial decision for a Halo Mega Collectible that probably no one really has ever seen before. Like maybe, of the people watching this video, if this video gets 5,000 views, probably five people have ever seen this thing. So what do you think about this? Eight blind bags from the 10th anniversary. I should have probably done 10, shouldn't I? <laughs> For the 10th, 10th anniversary, but whatever. Honestly, these are just absolutely exceptional figures. You cannot really get better than the, the just the quality of these. They just hold such a good place in my heart. They are celebrating 10 years of Mega having the license and considering this is now the 15 year anniversary this year, they should be celebrating. They haven't announced anything. I don't think they're doing anything, but which is a shame, but you know, but maybe this is, you know, this is our celebration. So tonight, raise a glass for the history of Halo Mega and I'll see you next time, folks. The Green Elite, my one of my absolute favorite figures is signing off.